Hello everybody, today I'm on the Hive on mobile, and no, I'm not actually going to be hacking with a config and stuff, that would be completely chopped. Subscribe if you want to see that though. Anyways, I'm showing you an in-depth tutorial of exactly how to use Illumina Client. As you can see, I've already got it right over here. If you want to download, install stuff, and all of that, it'll be linked down in the description below. Anyways, let's get right in. So you should notice this little icon on your screen somewhere if you have Lumina Client enabled. You can press and hold and drag this to anywhere you'd want. Anyways, we can click on this and it is going to open up the Lumina Client Click GUI. Now in the Lumina app, you can actually choose between a bunch of different Click GUIs. I highly recommend you check them all out. Anyways, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna be using the default one. It doesn't really matter which one you use, just come down to personal preference. They should all have just about the same features. Anyways, in this home area over here, we can view that we are obviously using Lumina Client, and you can find a bunch of information about the current level you're in. So here I can view all the players that are also currently in this Hive lobby, and as you can see, there is 32. You can view all of them, and you can see, for example, that these are all on Android, or at least almost all of them are. Anyways, uh, then you can see that I am indeed connected and my current level is Hive Games because I'm on the Hive. I can click right over there on the game version thing and I can find a bunch more information so I can view my entity ID, the vanilla version that I am using, and a bunch of stuff like that. I'm in survival, for example, etc, etc, etc. Anyways, it's literally that simple. Um, a lot of this is going to be kind of self-explanatory. Uh, on the left-hand side over here, we have a bunch of tabs. These contain all of the utilities that Lumina Client has to offer. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. Let's start off with the Combat tab right over here. This contains a bunch of combat utilities. Keep in mind that you can scroll here, and so there might be a little bit more than you would think. Anyways, you can click on these utilities to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. I'm going to turn it off again really fast because I don't want to be killoring with no config in the Hive lobby. Uh, and you can actually click on these settings cogs and then you'll get a settings um, menu right over here in which you can customize the utility completely how you want it customized, which is really useful. You also have a shortcut option over here, um, and that'll turn on an icon, as you can see, that is going to be on your screen, so you can directly press that icon to turn it on and off, instead of uh, having to go into here to turn it on, because obviously you can't use keys. I know that some Android devices, people like attach a keyboard, but in most cases, that isn't going to be the case. Um, anyways, for the rest, do like watch out with these and stuff as well. For example, uh, where is it? If I were to turn on, let's see something I can turn on without like, okay, no clip, for example. If I turn this on, I'm going to fall all the way through the floor into the void. Um, there we go. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm out of the ground again now. Uh, you guys get the idea. Kind of watch out with what you're doing. That's why I tried to not keep the kill aura on for too long earlier. Anyways, for the rest, all these utilities should work in the same way. So as you can see, the TP aura, for example, is going to have the same shortcut option. Different customization options because it is a different utility, but the customization should still work in the same way. Anyways, there's a bunch of them in here, and they're really useful. Check these out. It's fantastic. Anyways, all the different sections here work the exact same as the other ones. So in the movement section, you can find movement utilities. In this case, there's like fly, air jump, speed, jetpack, and a bunch more. Lumina Client does have a whole load of utilities. There's world utilities, rendering utilities, which does actually contain zoom, which uh, is one that I really like. In the miscellaneous utilities, you'll find a few more miscellaneous ones, as you can see over here. This also includes the GUI elements. So for example, the array list and the watermark. These are going to be things that show up on your screen. In this case, the array list displays all active utilities. Um, all the HUD elements, just like the 
the watermark. As you see, these are going to be things in the miscellaneous section. And finally, we have a configuration manager over here. Now, this being a mobile client, the configuration manager does actually have a user interface, which is fantastic. Basically, with configurations, you can save all the customizations that you have set in these utilities. So say you've set the kill aura in some sort of way to perfectly bypass the hive anti-cheat. Well, then you can simply save that as a config right over here, save current, and bam, your config is saved. Then you might call that hive or whatever. Say you don't know how to um, make the kill aura perfectly bypass hive, which I also don't, to be honest. I always download configs that other people make. And so you can also import them using this import button right over here. You can import configs that other people make and use them inside of your Lumina client. Here you'll view all your saved configurations, which I don't have any of yet. And well, it's that simple. As I said, for right now, I guess that is basically that. There isn't much more to Lumina client. Not that there isn't a lot, everything just works kind of similarly, making Lumina incredibly easy to use. So if you do have any questions or stuff like that, of course, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye!